Aging Room Quattro F55 in a Robusto box press. Hey, everybody, I'm Key, and this is Scar Vlog. So, check this out Aging Room, one of the uh, newer boutique brands. Kind of like the uh, branding with little brass knuckles right over the original line there. <laughs> nice little box press cigar. Basically, means it's nice and flat. So, you can sit down on the table and it won't roll off. Nice, big, huge, at least a double, maybe a triple cap. I guess I actually get that in frame. Not too sure how visible that is because it's kind of whitewashed. So, anyway, not much else I know about this other than these are occasionally a little on the pricey side. But from what I've had of them so far, definitely worth the cost of admission. This is always where box press gets a little weird is cutting it because it's flat. Okay, that looks pretty good. Fire into this before anybody shows up. One thing about box press, once you smoke them, they start rounding out because the tobacco fibers relax. All right, yeah, so far so good. Let's see how we go. So, right off the get-go, clean tobacco, a little woody, a little bit of dirt coffee, not bad. Well, anyway, as you can see, it is cold and snowy, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this short and sweet. I'm going to smoke this down to the first inch, see if anything wakes up, and hopefully not freeze my fingers off in the process. At least there's no wind. Alright, so, about an inch in, currently getting some really, really nice toasty, nutty, espresso, chocolatey vibes. Very rich, very strong, good, solid flavors. No spice, which is nice. <coughs> Richard Hill's got kind of that uh, kind of smoky, nutty quality to it. Overall, though, very thick, very complex, very interesting smoke so far. Kind of hard to pinpoint anything specifically because there is a lot going on, which I like. Everybody gets a little bit different experience out of it that way. Got to watch my step because everybody likes to walk the dog around here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to the halfway point. And I'm going to go ahead and yank the band here just because it's a little huge and this is kind of a short cigar. Whew. But uh, yeah, <laughs> the snow is about a foot thick and almost came over the top of my boots. <laughs> so uh, in future, don't be too shocked if you end up seeing a video game video here or something because I kind of don't have too much alternative to review. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a little bit of a side digression there. I'm going to go and smoke this down at the midpoint, see if anything really starts to stand out. So far, Echo. Uh, there's definitely quite a lot of flavor profile going on in this, and it is kind of... I want to say it's on the profile of, like, strong coffee, cocoa-ish kind of mocha kind of thing. Anyway, the only way to find out is keep smoking down see if anything wakes up. All right, I'll get back to the halfway point. Okay, real quick, just a quick uh, heads up here. This is one of the most irritating things when it comes to a cigar. You get a band that's stuck on there with a big gun of glue, and it sticks to the wrapper, you take it off, this is what happens. This is irritating as shit. Cigar manufacturers, please upgrade your bands and stop using that big sticky gub of crap that ends up ruining a cigar that didn't do anything wrong in the first place. I mean, seriously, it's not that much more expensive to just get a sticker instead of using that gub of shmm. Anyway, minor digression. All right, pretty decent halfway point here. Uh, the ash is a little too short because when I was taking the band off, I kind of accidentally tapped it. Don't take that as a sign of inferior quality. The actual construction of this is excellent, with the exception of that stupid band which ended up biting the. Anyway, flavors I've noticed kind of woke up and uh, 
The overarching flavor that I get out of this is a really, really deep dark cocoa, like 70% chocolate bar cocoa. Along with a little bit of clean tobacco and a retro hill that's kind of a toasty nutty quality. Overall though, it turned out pretty good. Subtle sweet, not too bad. Main thing is that real dark cocoa coffee espresso kind of thing going on. I can definitely recommend pairing this with a dark espresso or latte, something like that. Some kind of coffee drink. This is very much striking me as a coffee cigar. Other than that, uh, no spice, which is always good. It means they probably fermented it. Or just intentionally did not want any spice in it. Sometimes you find people that end up uh, intentionally making uh, cigars that are like spicy as hell. There was one that uh, was called a Picant. I forgot who made it. But it actually had a black band with a little red chili on it. And it was, <laughs> it was spicy. Really spicy. That is not this. And uh, this is actually that much better for it. And I think I've been digging around too long and I'm going to have to relight. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to take care of that and smoke this down of the uh, nub here and give a final update from there. All right, well, this seems like a pretty good spot to end, considering the fact that this is about to go completely banana sandwich. Anyway, flavors have been pretty consistent. Starting off uh, kind of nondescript, but uh, subtle, sweet, kind of coffee, cocoa, we know it. Kind of maturing into a real heavy cocoa, dark, dark cocoa coffee kind of, kind of flavor. Relatively mm, toasty, nutty retro hail throughout. Overall, excellent cigar. Excellent coffee cigar. Beyond that, though, not much else to say. Other than definitely worth the price of admission, but be careful, these can get a little pricey if you're not paying attention. I got this as part of a bundle, so I got them for a song. <laughs> Anywho, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. Excellent little cigar. When it comes to the whole box press thing, uh, if somebody tries to tout that as a selling point, it's basically if you just like setting your cigars down and not having them roll. It really doesn't do anything to the smokeability, uh, doesn't do anything to improve flavor or alter flavor or anything like that. It's just a marketing thing. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. You know? Wouldn't mind getting one of these in a round, traditional style, instead. Just because I think that box press is silly. But be that as it may. Anywho. Anywho, anywho, anywho to who. <laughs> I say that a lot too much. Well, that's pretty much all I got for this one. Good cigar for the money. Definitely, definitely pair this with coffee or some similarly appropriate beverage. Beyond that, that's pretty much all I got to say. If you like this video or any other video you like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Also, check out my Twitch stream Sundays and Wednesdays, midnight to 2 a.m. If you can't make it live, they are recorded for about a week, and then they just kind of vanish into the ether. Anyway, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.